This mat is used to give meaning to fraction computation, specifically addition with uncommon denominators. It allows students to begin learning conceptually how to change an equation with two uncommon denominators to one with common denominators. We will begin with models only. Clicking on the linking button links the equations to the models. After linking both levels, let's hide the equation so that only the models are showing. Clicking on the tabs changes the models. The circle or pie models or vertical bars will work best for this example. We'll use the vertical bars for this demonstration. We'll set the models to show the equation 1 fourth plus 3 fifths. Drag the first fraction over to the second to help students see that the individual parts of the first fraction are not equal to the second. Ask them how we can change the problem into one where the parts of both models are partitioned into the same size. Only when the parts of the two models are the same size can we complete the operation. Moving the sliders and moving between the two models allows students to make and check their predictions. It may take a number of trials before students realize that fourths and fifths have the same common denominator as twentieths. Once the parts are the same size, show the equation and ask students, now that the parts are of equal size, are the denominators the same? Provide students with many opportunities to practice with and without linking. After working from models, show the procedural steps by linking and showing both levels of the equation and entering the numbers. You may choose at this point to hide the models. However, they can supply supportive feedback to students who are not fluent with basic facts. You may notice that as I enter the example of one-half plus one-eighth, I enter the denominator first so that students develop a firm understanding of the whole unit and how it's partitioned prior to selecting the parts. Explain that the common denominator is eight, so one-half is multiplied by four-fourths. Although this mat can be used to add fractions resulting in improper fractions, using proper fractions only is suggested when first introducing this skill. As a result of modeling and rewriting fractions into formats that make them easy to add, students will come to understand the process of getting a common denominator is really one of looking for a way to change the equation without really changing the problem.